so we'll get straight into it. This is the Archer build, uh, what I run on official PvP servers. I'm just going to quickly show you how to set it up. There's a poor man's version and then an end game version. Um, I'll quickly show you both. So what you want, you want the vermin hide boots and pants. These give you bonus attributes to everything. You want the gauntlets of the brute because this Archer build is a main grit build uh, for mobility and then you want, it doesn't really matter about these two as long as they're accurate so you can go whatever but I think these these look quite good so um, as long as these top two are uh, accuracy. Now it's mainly a light set uh, you can replace one of these for medium if you want and you'll still get your extended roll. Um, you need buff fish well or what is, uh, whatever is uh, available uh, you can use the uh, potions if you want but we use buff fish so hit all them. My stats are reset by the way. And then you want the hunter's potion as well. This will give you an extra boost to accuracy. And then the accuracy war paint. This is the end game one. Uh, we've got the uh, reach of the red mother. And you want the masterwork weapon fitting on it. You can use oil if you want. But um, in extended fights it will be breaking quite quick with oil. Then you'll have to repair it and reapply your oil. Uh, three sets of arrows, obviously the best ones are hollow bone. Then we've got dragon bone, but the most common used when we go out is star metal. Um, and there'll be uh, the damage types shown in this video as well of all three. And how armor don't, don't really play that much of a role when you're using certain arrows. So once we've got that, we've got a base stats here. So what you want to do, you want to go full accuracy. and you want to go full grit. Next you want to go agility and vitality. There we go. So, I know what you're thinking, low HP, only 329 with 279 armor. By the way, the armor's got um, the advanced flexibility because like I say, we like to roll and roll far as well while we're doing it. So I'm going to be showing some gameplay footage of some uh, 1v1s. This is more than capable of 2 v one in and 3 v one in if you use it right. Like I say, not many people in this game prioritize grit. Um, I used to go the 3 strength, 3 strength um, full accuracy, but the damage difference that you get from just doing light attacks is, is just not worth it. It's just easier to go to go full accuracy. Uh, you don't need encumbrance. You only need um, your arrows and your bow. You're not going to be looking to pick anything up on this build. You're just going to be looking to kill them and kill them quick. Um, right, I'll go and show you the, uh, the poor man's version. Alright, so for the poor man's version, your earlier game version, um, you're going to want your normal assassin's uh, chest piece and mask. Uh, the gauntlets of the brute are quite a frequent drop but if you want to replace them with the uh, veneer gauntlets you can as long as you've just got bonus grit so you've got three on grit and you've got two pieces with accuracy. Um, so yeah the veneer settler which is the uh, light set. Um, so you're going to want to fully buff yourself up uh, reset your stats then buff yourself up so accuracy potion and war paint now with this build you're going to want uh, obviously we're not using the reach of the red mother because that's quite a rare drop so you're going to be using either Deketo's voice or the eye of Khan anything that's going to give you bonus accuracy while holding it now the Deketo's voice drops inside the war maker um, from either the first or third room from your left and the Eye of Khan drops from uh, one of the bosses in the Unnamed City. So this is a very easy drop to get the Decato's voice. The Eye of Khan is a little better because it's got uh, the built-in pen. But uh, you work with what you got. So before you do your stats you should always equip it. That will give you the boost um, while holding it. So again we go full, full accuracy, full grip always have full grit. I run full grit on 
normal melee builds as well. Um, accuracy, vitality. Now you get a little more points out of this build, but you sacrifice damage not using the reach of the Red Mother. So there we go, you can put your rest in encumbrance. Um, so it's always, I always prioritize grit and agility because your roll is much quicker, your attacks when you get up are much quicker as well. And this, this works perfectly for how this build's supposed to be. This build's supposed to be in the middle of the fight, right up close and personal. You want to be touching the other player while you're fighting them. Um, you want to get right in there. Most archers in this game will try and keep the distance, try and kite them away, and if they get a little bit too close, they'll unequipped and they'll run away. Uh, this is meant to be straight up close and personal. So yeah, that's the uh, poor man's build and the stat build for it. You might think it's low vitality, but not really. You can take a good few hits uh, with this build. Like I say, armor doesn't really mean anything in this game anymore with the amount of pen that you can get on your weapons. And when people run full strength builds, they're gonna tear through a thousand armor easy as well. So there's not much difference having 300 to a thousand armor, especially when running this build. This is meant to be fully mobile and dodge. And like I say, you can get six rolls out of this before stamming out and if you time it right like that you get an extra roll and you regen on your stamina quite quick so yeah we'll get into some uh, gameplay footage and I'll talk you through what's going on during the uh, during the fights all right so the first thing I want to talk about is which is important to this build is invincibility frames now this is what happens when you roll there's a certain amount of time in between your roll where you can just dodge any attack and if you time this right, as you're going to see in this clip, you can dodge anything. You can dodge a full rotation, even if you're trapped in a corner, it doesn't matter. Um, and all you need to do is get down your timings. This is going to help you in any PvP situation with whatever weapon you're using. There's no point spamming roll, because it doesn't do nothing but lower your stamina. It's well-timed dodge rolls is what makes a really good PvP -er to somebody who's just started the game. You need to be able to dodge roll at the right time and make it count. So the next thing is positioning. This plays a huge role in PvP. This determines whether you win or lose. Now, a lot of people fresh to the game who haven't got much PvP experience will, like I say before, just spam roll, which is their go-to get out of jail free card. But positioning and your movement, you don't have to roll sometimes. As you can see in this clip, you can just walk around. The advantage of having increased agility is you move a little bit faster. That coupled with the light armor means you can just rotate around somebody and you can flank them like that. You don't even have to dodge roll so you can save your stam. Also, controlling your stamina usage as well. If you do have to roll, just let it, like tap off your run button and your stamina will increase. Like I say, you don't always have to be spam rolling to get out. Your roll is long enough once for you then to back up afterwards. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about before the arrow tests is the tornado and looking for animations. Now, the tornado is when you get up close and personal with them and you circle them and you use your higher agility and your faster speed to lock them in an animation. Now, if they've got a shield, they won't be able to drop it unless they untarget you and you're close enough to do damage through the shield, as you can see in this clip. Now, this is how I like to play Archer. Now, when I'm up close and personal like this, all I'm looking for is a weapon animation. That's it. Like, I've played long enough to control my stamina to know how much I can use, how many times I can roll, which that all comes with a little bit of experience. Uh, so what you're looking for is the unique weapon animation to what they've got so you just need to learn them so whether it's the hammer's wide swing or the lean back of the shoulder before the yog's touch goes into a leap animation and that's what you're timing for for your rolls now when you're locked into this tornado animation nine times out of ten you won't even have to dodge roll it'll just miss as you can see with the spear clip so the most important thing when fighting up close and personal, which is how I like to fight with the Archer build, is looking for animations and timing your dodge rolls to counter them. Now your attacks are quick enough when you come back up to hit them before they can hit you because your build is uniquely set up for to counter after a dodge roll to hit faster than they can hit you. 
All right, so we got hollow bone without and hollow bone with. Then we got dragon bone without and then with armor. And then finally star metal after. Not much damage difference. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope it helps. Sorry about the audio quality. Um, there's going to be more guides to follow. I'm going to do one-handed and two-handed and uh, show you some tips on how to improve the guns as well. All right.